material here, and this is the guide for a Town Hall 9 trophy base. Now, obviously, everyone should already know basic core, Town Hall, Clan Castle. Clan Castle doesn't technically have to be in the same compartment. It is a fair amount different from a Town Hall 10, because you only have two Expos as your main defenses. Now, I keep saying Expos aren't that great, but at Town Hall 9, they're actually pretty good. They're decent, they're about average with the other ones, but do have a good attack speed. And the main things you want in your core, as you can see, are the Expos and your Tesla. Those are your two strongest defenses at Town Hall 9. Archer Tower overtakes them at Town Hall 10 purely because you get two levels of Archer Towers. And I'm actually going to enclose this core right here. Leave a little bit of space. You have to worry a lot because you don't have your Inferno Towers. You don't have anything like that at Town Hall 9, and you don't have a third Expo, so you only need to mirror them left and right, top and bottom, whatever, for the Expos, because you don't have a third one to make a triangle with. Now, you have a little bit more leniency as a Town Hall 9 if you want to add a moat. Town Hall 9s have the same amount of walls as a Town Hall 10, but they have less to put inside them. I'm only going to make a small moat with this base, but you have a lot more freedom to do it, and do it if you want. It's actually a good idea, in my opinion. Unless someone brings a jump spell, which completely negates the moat entirely. But if they don't bring a jump spell, it will actually help you a great deal as a Town Hall 9. And again, you want your air defenses somewhat near the middle. You can put them inside the core if you want, if you design a base like that. And you want your heroes nearby, but you don't necessarily want them in the core. Because as a Town Hall 9, people are just going to get to the core a little bit faster, and your heroes are just going to start drawing them in sooner. The sooner you draw them in with your heroes, the worse it's going to be for you. Because heroes are like magnets, just like the clan castle, heroes are like magnets. And if someone attacks from the top right here, the clan castle will act as a magnet, but the heroes will act to draw people left and right around the town hall, which will help a little bit. Now, you're going to want your mortars a little bit more in, maybe. Maybe because you can't defend your clan castle as much, so people are going to get the lure off anyways. And they're just going to be able to do it better no matter what, just because you don't have as much defenses, don't have as many buildings, whatever, they're just going to get the lure off anyways. It's not as big a deal to try and mess up lures. You can still try and do that. You can put your mortars farther outside, but just bear in mind, you're never going to be as strong as a Town Hall 10 with that. Going to go ahead and put that there. I have plans for those little openings. Go ahead and cover that right there, the air defense with the wizard towers. You always want to have a wizard tower next to your air defense. I don't care what town hall level you are, you always want a wizard tower next to your air defense. Because then if something like balloons get on the air defense or minions get on the air defense, you can take them out. And if something gets on your wizard tower like balloons or dragons, you can take it out with the air defense. They cover each other well. And obviously you want an archer tower in front of the wizard tower just as a little added thing to slow down balloons as they try and go towards your wizard tower because they're going to want to take out your wizard tower, so they're going to go for it, add a little bit extra. You want something to distract them before they get to the wizard tower. Now, I can leave a gap there. You can also maybe swap in a defense, but I don't like putting defenses inside, like in front of my air defenses, because that'll just draw things more towards the air defense, more balloons to the air defense. So I put the storage right there, but you can put a defense there. The point of putting a defense next to the cannon instead of the storage would just be so you can place like a spring trap there in case people use hogs. But I can guarantee you once you get past, I don't know, Master 2, you're really not going to see that many hogs at all. So at that point, it really doesn't matter to defend against hogs. You may still want to try a little bit of defending against hogs. And look at those two things left and right that I just placed down. Those things are funneled. And people are going to be more likely to attack a Town Hall 9 with smaller troops because they know it's going to be easier. So, you know what, if you can funnel them through a spring trap, you know, barch or whatever, you'll help yourself out a little bit. You may want to do funnels. You can also close off the funnels. This base does work so that you can switch some walls up. I've done it before. You can switch some walls up and close off the funnels and just make it another compartment. You just have to make this compartment that I'm building now a little bit smaller. But it will work. It, I've done it before, I've tried it before, back when I was at Town Hall 9. And if anyone can tell me what this base is specifically from, you guys deserve a cookie. I'm not going to give you a cookie, but you can go ahead and break your diet and then claim it was my idea. So, you definitely deserve bonus points if you have been around here long enough to know what this base is and know what this base is to me. I did not originally design this base if anyone can say who designed this base, 
they get an extra point as well. These points are completely meaningless, but so are most things on the internet. And I'm actually going to switch my archer towers over because I'd rather have them in front of the wizard tower than in front of the air defense in case someone brings balloons in. That way they can't get directly onto my air defenses. Now, so far, it's going good. I'm putting these cannons outside, and what this is going to do is it's going to lure golems. At Town Hall 9, you really need to lure the golems away off to the side, because you don't have Inferno Towers, extra expos, higher level defenses to deal with those golems. You just can't take down a level 5 golem as a Town Hall 9. You need to pull them away from everything, pull them off to the side. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the Giant Bomb there, but just so that hogs, if they actually do use hogs, go across it. I'm going to put those Tesla right there instead of up top. And you know what? This is how I originally had it. This right here brings hogs and makes sure they go to the side. That way they can't take out just one side of it. It's much harder. It'll help draw the troops around. And since I'm over here looking at traps, may as well place the skeleton traps there. They'll just aid in the heroes pulling the troops to the side. And they'll also pull things from the bottom off to the left and right. You really... As a Town Hall 9, your main goal is to try and keep the big stuff away from your core. Just pull it off to the side, distract it, whatever. That's why you have the funneling on the bottom. And for both the bottom and the top, you've got your heroes and your skeleton traps on the side. Now, there's not enough room for my storages in there. You can also place them where those drills are if you want. But then people will start farming you even more than having them outside. Because outside up there... Okay, I'm not sure just what happened there. But outside up there, it's actually a little bit harder to get at, because over here they can deploy a couple archers and take it. I mean, getting farmed isn't that bad, but if a Town Hall 10 starts farming you, just with Barch or whatever, they may go for the 50% or may even drop like level 40 heroes and try for the second star, just because they decide to start farming you because your resources were easy to get at. At Town Hall 10, you can effectively just give away your resources and expect that you're going to get, you know, some trophies or only a one star. But as a Town Hall 9, you can't expect that because you're so much weaker than the rest of the Town Hall 10s. They're most likely going to farm you, then decide halfway through, you know what, I'm going to smash them anyways. I got level 4 heroes, I can do this. I want to put a lot of buildings down here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and place that builder hut right there. It fits nicely. And now I just have a couple collectors and a couple builder huts left, along with those spring traps and those bombs. You know what you can do? This will help if someone tries to lure... This way, it'll do a little bit of damage to the witches. Do I want to put that there? Put those there, maybe? No, let's put them over here, because I don't have any air coverage. People can use minions to already take out a bunch on the bottom. Maybe I do want to put some air bombs down there, maybe. Just by that mortar, just so I can take out the minions, because I've got no archer tower coverage there. That's why I want to move it over. you got to think about where you're covering with your archer towers, because a lot of people bring a couple minions, and you don't want to give them, like, 15% of your base for two or three minions cover that up nicely it is covered by the archer towers hmm there's no air coverage on the very top but and very bottom but there's not much I can do about that maybe I want to move those no I can't move the archer towers towards the outside where the drills are because then it won't funnel as well you want to have them right near that cannon and the cannon to the archer tower will draw them over right on top of the giant bomb and on top of the spring trap Purely for symmetry, I put the Builder's Hut there, but that's obviously not the best place for it because it's not covered by anything. It's a free building. Free buildings are bad, but just for the purpose of symmetry, I put it there. And just in case, there's Hog Riders, but I've also seen this work great against Go Wee Wee and Go Wipe, placing spring traps there. People will often come from that side. You will see wizards go flying. I mean, if a golem walks across it, yeah, but if wizards walk across it, and I've seen a lot of it, and there's replays of it on my old videos, you will see wizards go flying. Now normally you put these farther outside, but I'm going to put them in here in case people get dragons in, because I know if someone attacks with like dragons or whatever, they're going to get that far in anyways no matter what I do. So may as well kill them before they get to Town Hall, they cannot compensate for that. And it'll hit multiple dragons, it'll hit one dragon each, most likely, or it'll just absolutely annihilate one dragon. Let's uh, put that there maybe, cover some more of the buildings, there's more buildings there than anywhere else down there, so cover them up, check, okay, we're good there. Now, basic overview for the end. You can make moats with Town Hall 9. You have much more freedom than a Town Hall 10 does. You kind of want to make it hard to lure your clan castle, but they're going to be able to lure it anyways. You don't necessarily have to have your mortars towards the outside. They're not going to work that great as a Town Hall 9. 
you don't want to have any defenses in front of the air defenses because you're going to get attacked by a lot of balloons and you don't want them getting directly to your air defenses right away. You want to cover your wizard towers and your air defenses with the bombs and mines and whatever. Try and do that at least a little bit. Do whatever you can to draw the bigger troops, especially the bigger troops and any of the smaller troops, away from the core. That's why you have the skeleton traps off to the side, the heroes off to the side, and you have those funnels. The funnels you can close on the space. I'm not making the space so you copy it. It's just an example. And you also don't necessarily obviously have to protect your resources, but if you give them away for free, you're actually more likely to get attacked by a farmer who suddenly decides that they're gonna two-star you. Just make it so it's not a good farming target and it's not a good trophy target. You're gonna be obviously a prime target for any Town Hall 10s, but the less advertising you make yourself, the better. Spread out your storages, that way people won't attack all from one side just because I see they can get all the storages. And obviously, you're not going to see that many hogs. Try and defend against them a little bit, but really, once you pass about 2800, you're going to stop seeing them for the most part, so you're not really going to have to worry about hogs. Hogs are this thing that you see in Clan Wars and Low Masters. It's not something you see in High Masters and Champions League. No one uses it anymore. And that is the main points of designing a Town Hall 9 base. Many of the things are very similar to the Town Hall 10. You don't have Inferno Towers, so you cannot deal with golems. Town Hall 9 can absolutely not deal with golems. It'll be a miracle if you break a golem before they get 70%. It's just absolutely impossible for a Town Hall 9 without Inferno Towers, without the extra expo, without the extra everything. So, you're just going to have to do what you can to draw them to the side. That's really what you can do with a Town Hall 9, just keep them away from your Town Hall. It's possible you won't win as much as a Town Hall 10, you might not even win any defenses. A win for a Town Hall 9 is a 1 star. So, that's all for now, but one last thing, actually, one last thing. You can sometimes place your Town Hall outside, hope for a 1 star. What you do with this base is you probably just put your Dark Elixir back in the center, just like you would in a farming base, put the Dark Elixir in the center, Place something where the Dark Elixir was, just so they can't deploy there, and put your Town Hall off on the side. And that is the last of it, so thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Tyrael, out.